that. It's not ours. It's not ours. It's mine. Um, oh, I already got divines. I'm already getting paid. Looks fine. This is extra chaos. Okay. All right, let me see if I can handle this flight. 60 feels fine. I don't know if my defenses are going to hold up, though. If I would do, like, Ultra Deuce, though. Dude, that's a lot of monsters. Oh, shit. That's a lot of monsters. I don't think... I don't think... I don't think hundreds will be fine on this setup, as is. Maybe, if you play carefully. I feel like 80s will be fine, because 60s still... Holy shit, I'm taking damage. The tentative challenge is over. It's been seven days. I'm, I'm testing like a mid-tier build for like what I want to play next league. I'm doing some I'm doing some juice maps to see if this build can handle it. Oh I, you know what? I haven't been casting despair. That's why my damage feels kind of off. You know, I probably have to set, we have to set up like, I want to set up like the, the whole build to, for like, for juice, right? Probably want to like, despair on hit somewhere though. Like my, my, my Asinus should have despair on hit, right? Because I'm not going to be able to like, cast despair on everything. I'm only getting the Wither right now when I'm casting the Spare, so I should definitely do that. If I want to set up for Juice. Maybe, like, maybe I do that. Is that, that's a lot of damage. Missed HH? No, I didn't. Not HH. I don't care about Lou. I just want to see if my build can handle this content. Bosses are fine, obviously. See how bad Legion is. Legion fucking sucks in this place, though. I can't get, like, the chain to go off. There's a boss there. That's fine. Where's, where's, uh, Valyrian boss? Dude, not having evasion on when you're doing like super juice, that's kind of dog shit, dude. Alright. Like your max hit is like high enough where you could just handle it and heal, but it still doesn't feel safe. You're gonna get owned one of these days. You just get like run into the middle of like 100 mobs and like not cast your spell and you just get clobbered. I already fucking know it. Maybe we run like cast one damage taken, heal skin on juice like this.
It's in the ten divine challenge, but you don't you don't you don't want to you don't want to play that build normally though. A good build is made for Winter Orb to do bosses, and like you need to fix a lot of that, a lot of shit on that build to make it like like an all-rounder. But your ability to generate damage, I think it just kind of demonstrated like my ability to de generate damage on like in any circumstance, right? Oh, dude. Wait, you get so much money here. Wait, I heard a tink. Where's the tink? Oh, I got another divine orb. Cool. No, not fuck me. Not not tank. Don't tank. What is this? What is all this garbage? I don't want to loot. No tanking. Man, I'm pretty sure if I got despair on gloves, I'm pretty sure I can handle like 80% just fine. I mean, I'm pretty sure I, without the spare on gloves, I can still handle 80% just fine. So this build could be used to, to juice too. This is this is fine for a 60% map, right? You guys feel like this is fine? The clear is fine. It's time. Uh, in order for me to do simulacrum, I have to I have to like fix my I have to change the build to do simulacrum. It's, it's like simulacrum's easy though. Like I've, it's, it's just damage. You just have to have to be able to survive. You just make your guy like ninety five percent chance to evade suppression, and then and then have like twenty million DPS with like wide clearing, and then you're fine. Good job, Exo. The formula for simulacrum is simple. I think this. I think this is okay. Wait, what happened to this blight? Wait, what? Wait, it's been here this whole time. Wait, does it not start anymore? Oh, even blight on sixty is fine. button force a habit I'll do an 80 after, but I kind of, I, yeah, I kind of want to switch the spare on hit though. I, I, those gloves can't be expensive, right? Sanctum will be fine, but that build is so fucking slow. Just don't play it. Trust me. It's it's like it's like made to do like one thing and one thing only. You're not gonna have a good time with a build that slow unless you know how to tune your own build. That skill is just garbage. I'm not up to that just yet. Play something else and you'll have like a much better time. I 
only did it because they said like like chat knows that winter orb doesn't do damage and they just wanted to see me fail right so they were like oh my god you can't do it on winter orb that's that's all the only reason i play that skill and then then chat lost because they once again underestimated okay anyways I think I think it feels fine on on juice. Let me let me do like eighty. Uh, what do we want to do? John, how does it perform in Sanctum? Can it off screen? Uh, well, if you're going to go to Sanctum with this much damage, like, the mobs are going to die in, like, like, half a second. So, I don't think it fucking, it would fucking even matter. Alright, let me see if we can handle 80% Delhi. That's kind of a little sketch in terms of like all the monsters, but my damage is good enough to handle 80% deli. I'm a little weak towards multiple hits though. Whatever. Oh shit! Oh, that is multiple hit. That is multi-hits. Oh, that is not good. That is not good. We got crushed. Good job, Dude, I knew it was gonna... I knew, like... I knew... I know what I'm weak against, right? This is, like, the worst part about me setting up my build like this. I think... I think what I need really need to do is to set up, like, evasion. If I get surrounded because I'm poisoned and I can't like instantly do damage, right? Shit like that's gonna happen. Oh my lord. That Delhi slow when I'm spell echoing is like, it's like destroying me too. Oh, that's so many monsters. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think without evasion, juice is going to be a little sketch. But if I wanted to do this like next league, right, I could just set up my character to do it. So it's not, I don't think it's that as that big of a deal as if I can handle this as is. And I think it's going to be fine. Because my damage is definitely good enough to clear all of this, right? Even on 80. Oh, Legion's not even that bad. Legion's actually pretty good. What am I missing? Grinding challenges? I am not grinding challenges. I'm just seeing how this build on this like, thing... I want to see how well it behaves. Good. 
it's kind of uh it's sketch sometimes boys it is sketch sometimes I think I should just use cast one damage taken steel skin. I think it would actually be a lot more helpful than what I'm doing right now. Holy shit. Wait, what is that? What is that? That's a mob? Dude, my amulet's gar my amulet's like 10c, dude. I literally bought this amulet for like 20c. It's like a two stat amulet. My mana is gone. It was it was the amulet I used for my 10 div challenge. I'll do a Sanctum for you after, to show. Shit, ow, oh, ow. Oh. Why I bleed on me? Oh shit, I was like, why am I taking so much damage? I didn't even see. King Volm. I bleed again? No, my damage is more than fine. Even at 80, it's fine. I think, um... How many monsters left? Okay, so, like... If you want to be like sturdy and like really, really like in stuff like simulacrum, which is probably like equivalent to like 100% like deli or like super, like 80% super juice, then, then you, you, and you don't have progenesis, right? You probably just want to run grace. I, I don't really care this. We can just run grace here and then we can put malevolence here, right? Just not run haste. Let me, let me go get grace. I could just run this. And now we just don't... Let me just roll a single blue before the green. Don't work. Okay, there we go. Whatever. Uh, so we just like malevolence this instead of haste here. Uh, we're gonna lose some cast speed and some damage, but I think it's fine. And then we're gonna run like um, um, like a increase hard recovery. Wait, right, like forty-two and evasion during effect, right? If you want to do like stuff like simulacrum, right? Or like even like super clearing maps, then you're gonna have to. Come on, come on, game. Okay, thanks. 
Uh, we'll just do, like, Enduring Cry. Here, and then we'll do, like, um, hold on. Alright, for, for, like, some, for some extra healing and some Endurance Charges and Simulacrum, I think that's, like, pretty good. And I'll just use, like, a, like, I'll just have no Leech. Taken away from a ton of my recovery, but whatever. It. Uh, chaos damage leech. Does have chaos damage leech? Have chaos multi. A shit relic. Hmm, that's my only Chaos Multi-Relic? We're just gonna use it. I think that's my only Chaos Multi one. Alright, whatever, dude. We're just gonna use this. Oh, man. Just give me CTA. Let's get CTA, and then we have some Endurance Charges. And I need to buy, like, a Watchers. Uh... Yeah, it's like it's like fifty divines right now. But I'm setting my guy up for like simulacrum, so spending more money, changing things around. I guess I like remove progenesis, right? Okay, so we do like. All to arms here. Then. The pit banks okay, now I think. We have at last pinpointed the location of the syndicate safe house. Okay, so we're. The leader to be sending... That. Malevolence is on. During cry there. That. That's fine. Okay. And then now all we need is. um. Grace. This is like this is like what we're gonna need for for like if you want to do like super juice, right? This is how you set up your character if you never want to die. Because once you have like all of this stuff, then monsters don't hit you. And when monsters don't hit you, you can't die. Only thing you can die is from like spells. Wait, what? No. I think that's fine, right? Uh, we'll just buy like this 50 C Y. Is there eight percent? I have purity of lightning here. No, 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 that's not right. And this line is so long that I can't see. Okay, whatever, dude. We're just gonna... Oh my god, all of my lines are wrong. Jesus Christ, dude. Purity of elements. Okay, there we go. 7, 9? Okay, let's buy this for ADC. Uh, he's not online. 7, 8, 6, 10, 8, 11, 1 divine. Okay. This. Been online for 11 days. Sell it. Hurry up. Come on. Okay. So now we have like, we, now we have a character set up that's like super GG against uh, attacks, right? And if we put that on POV, basically, we're going to be like this now.
we're gonna replace the watchers here right with grace and then we're gonna replace jade flask here right um and then we're gonna replace this with malevolence right and then we're gonna run uh grace here right and now i have and then we're gonna uncheck unwavering and i have 86 percent chance to evade on the setup 31,000. wait that's it i have 31,000 evasion should i run defiance banner what if i tell 35 that's not that's not too much right i have 31 chance that's that's not very high why is it so low okay let me remove this point but now i'm like I can be stunned uh 87 chance is that with the watcher dude that's so low i feel like i guess it's fine i also don't have like enough i don't have enough like energy shield in the setup for ghost dance but um okay we'll just we'll just run it like this Hopefully this will be enough for um, like simulacrums. Yeah, most of the time I'm getting like five. Oh my god, Lord. I have the wrong skills too. I don't have Frost Blink on. Like my, it's like a chill and it's like instant getaway, right? So it's like really, really good for Sims. dead overall like see you could just set your guy up for like like any character if you if you have coverage and damage you could just set your guy up for simulacrums right like you just have to remember like to get enough tankiness to like through evasion or block to be able to like just tank everything like simulacrum farmers are actually like the one of the easiest like things to like make because you don't have to really worry about like you don't have to worry about speed on the build which is um like a really hard thing to build in today's builds, right? You just uh, you it's like one less thing you have to worry about, right? And like, it's it's really easy to get good enough defensive layers to do simulacrum. Yeah, if you want to do sims, you just build like that, right? Yeah, faceted fossils, but. So everyone's build is going to be a little different depending on like what they're farming. If you're like if you're doing bosses, you definitely want to be running progen, right? But if you're going to doing like things like that, you don't you probably don't even want to invest in progen. You just want to get your like so, you just want to get your little jade flask and be oh my god, I have Asian, Asian so good. Man, it should be it should it would be so much nicer if I had leech on this build. All I have is freaking Eugen. It's not real voice, guys. <laughs> guys, this is what you guys do every single day. <laughs> you you just you just throw shots at me until you get banned, and then you just go ask buns for a fucking unban. And you'd be like, oh, Rue's in a terrible mood today, Buns. I got was banned unfairly. <laughs> and then you just, you're just right back going insane, Cat, the next day.
This feels a lot better in the middle of like 500 mobs, right? It definitely does. If you want to do juice content on this build, this is how you like, this is how you would build, right? The progen setup is more like for bosses and stuff like that. I really like this build. I think this is a really good budget to do like everything in the game. You just have to switch a few things around depending on what you want to do. And you can also do like, you could just do all of this content. The only thing that's a little bit sketch is the flask shit, but I think at this point, like to make the build cheaper and more effective, I'm okay with dying like once every like 150 maps or whatever. The flask shit. I'm not up to that just yet. Yeah, I mean, builds that can handle like all the content in the game are, are really, really good, right? Because then you get to do whatever you want. Oh I'm shit, Oh, that was really sketch. I got hit by like so many things at once. I, that's where I need like cast on damage taken steel skin for, so I don't, I don't, I don't take a lot of damage during that, right? You gonna make a leak start POB? Yeah, I, I don't know. At this point, like this is like probably the build I would start. I, I like it. I think it has good clear. I think it, it has bossing potential. It has speed running potential because it's a pathfinder. So if I wanted to build like 500 movement speed on this build for speed running content, I could. Like speed running all can go. If I want to build my build for for like juicing content like this, I could. If I wanted to do bosses, I could switch to reap. Like I could, right? And awaken spell casket. I can ba basically do everything I want to do on a single build. I think um, that's that's like what I'm looking for right now. A lot of other builds to do like all of this stuff. It requires like so much investment. I mean, I killed all the Ubers on 10 Divines on this build on Exsanguinate, so it can't be bad. <laughs> it can't be that bad if I can kill all the Ubers, right, on 10 Divine budget right now. So it's more than, it's more than doable, it's more than, it's, it's like good enough. Yeah, but I just wanted to see like what the build can handle like if I put in a little bit more investment, right? It's still it's still pretty fucking good right now. I'm not up to that just yet. Maybe I can maybe I can do more work on it to see if I can like make it even more efficient. But at this point it's just like how to level it and how to get to this gear, right? My mana is gone. Oh dude, I just tanked like fucking like 50 hits, dude.
do simulacrums, do them, yeah, farm them, like, very, very efficiently? Uh, probably not. Well, the, the build I'm running right now, when you don't have, like, progenesis, is, like, in that budget already, so, yes. Right. It's like th like between maybe like 30 to 40 divines for this build without progen. And I just did a simulacrum and I could have done it easily deathless, right? But I was like seeing if I could tank some abilities. So I died once. Some Kosis abilities, some like multi fireballs. You just have to understand, if you want to do simulacrums, right, you have to understand what kills you using simulacrum and then build around it, okay? So you want ailment avoidance because of Scorch, and if you don't have Scorch, you have to overcap, right, your res, or you're going to die in simulacrum a lot, right? You want high evasion, high block, with enough max hit to be able to tank the bigger slams in simulacrum, right? Like uh, the, the Kostis explosion or whatever, or, or, or the Omniphobia, like, attacks, right? So... You need enough physical damage reduction, you need high avoidance, uh, recovery, right? And... Uh, you got to pump it up, don't you know, pump it up. You got to pump it up, don't you know, pump it up.